Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, the village boy. It's your boy, Black Cheetah SA. I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to record properly or professionally on Cubase 5. A lot of people, they've been doing mistakes when it comes to recording, man. So it is important to record like properly in Cubase or in whatever software that you use before you can jump to mixing and mastering. So yeah, that's the first step to record properly make sure that you get some good vocals so that when you mix and master it when you mix and master those vocals you don't get any problem man so yeah let me show you how you record on cubase how you record on cubase or how you set up your things on cubase so don't forget to subscribe guys don't forget to subscribe you can leave a comment and like the video like the video so let's do this uh, let's open our new project you can just click recording or you can just click recent let me click recent as you can see this is a new project guys this is a new project so the first thing that you're gonna do we're gonna drag a beat an instrumental on this project because of that's how we start okay this is cubase 5 guys that's how we start we want to record so yeah let me just pick this bit i drag it here i drag it here boom done we have our bit on our new we have our bit in our new project so let's listen to this bit Baby, I'm so excited. This beat that they wrote from Bonnie is the guy that I worked with from Lesotho. So he sent me a, a short beat with his hook, you know. So yeah, let's say this is our beat. So the first thing that you're gonna do, or the second thing that you're gonna do. We're just gonna come here and click on VST connections. We're gonna come to device and click on VST connections because of like we want to air where we're gonna record. So you make sure that you click on your input, then you add bars. Then make sure that your bars is mono because of we want to record our vocals in mono. You know, we want to record our vocals in mono. So make sure that the bars that you add is on mono okay it's on mono as you can see we have stereo in and we have mono in okay let's just cancel this then come here right click and add audio track we can just uh, let's say four okay four our audio tracks will be on mono as you can see so okay this is our audio tracks guys this is our audio tracks where we're gonna record with our vocals so as you can see they are all in mono mono in mono in mono in so it is important to record your vocals in mono because of like when you don't record your vocals in mono then it depends that you record your vocals in stereo in stereo it will be a problem even if you submit your songs to the radios or to the to the companies you know it won't sound good man it won't sound good like vocals you need to record your vocals in mono this is everywhere so if you have been recording your vocals in stereo you better fix that i'm here to help you so yeah let's see how mono vocals are let's record something okay let me put this beat here and record something for you first time make your whole now with my two eyes same time you check is that doing your life you got everything my wife to be your so the same i can all when i'm a good girl me had to listen you can be like the rain and the spoon okay 
so this is our vocal guys as you can see it is recorded in mono which is good let's listen to the to our vocal first time make you hope on with my two eyes same time it's like you start to enjoy your life you got everything my wife to be your so the same i can now when i'm in good to me had to listen to you you will like train and sport so this is a raw vocals it doesn't have effects that's why it is so low so yeah this is how you record guys this is, this is how you record let me let me show you let me show you a, a stereo how stereo will be let me try to do a stereo okay let me try to do a stereo this is a stereo pulse okay check this out <laughs> First time make you hope born now with my two eyes same time it's like you start to enjoy your life you got everything so you see there's a difference between stereo and mono stereo it's gonna be like a double vocal so this is wrong guys this is wrong you don't record your vocals like this this is wrong but mono is gonna be like a single vocal as you can see here but stereo is gonna be like a double vocal. So this is wrong. You don't record vocals in stereo. You remove this. This is wrong. This is wrong. You remove this. Your vocal must be like this. Your vocals. So yeah. That's all you have to do in Cubase. When you export a song in Cubase, you just have to highlight. You just have to highlight this until where where it ends, you know, where it ends. So yeah. Then you export your, your 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 vocal. Then you export your vocal. You see, or you export your songs, or whatever. So yes, guys, that's how you record properly in Cubase. And let me let me tell you another thing, another important thing. It is important to know which vocals are good, which vocals are not good. Let me do an example. Let me record something. Ah, ba 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 You see? Look at these vocals. Look at these vocals. This is a wrong vocal. Your vocals must not be like this. So your vocals must not be be like this. Whereby it peaks louder. No. It doesn't have to be like this, guys. So the right vocals must be like this. Yeah 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 I'm recording right vocals so as you can see a difference right you can see a difference just look at this vocal these are wrong vocals on audio for these are wrong vocals your vocals doesn't have to be too much like this so if your vocals are like this you need to reduce your microphone or yeah, reduce your microphone on your audio interface or on your mixer. Your vocals must be little like this one. You see? So that's the right vocals. This one is wrong vocal. We don't want vocal like this. So yes, guys. Yes, that's how everything is done when it comes to recording in Cubase. So I'm going to show you how uh, how you export your songs correctly or professionally in Cubase 5. You know, you don't just export, you know. There are certain settings that you need to set up when you export your songs so that it can be on high quality. So, yes guys. But for now, this is the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You know I got your back. You know I got your back. I'm going to show you what I find out. If I have a solution, I'm going to come here on YouTube and show you. So su subscribe, guys. Subscribe and support a village boy. My name is Black Chira. I say support me and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The figure.